Hello and welcome back. So we are straight back in. So this has just been recorded straight after the other episode, which was basically just the uh, Viper sort of showcase. And at the moment, we are just flying over the top of our ships here, which are basically all similar, but we will now go and have a look at them all. So we start at left, and we'll just jump out of our ship here. We'll just bring the speed down. Go back into F4 view. Open that, and we'll let the speed come down. We're going nice and fast, and we'll just get out. Close the cockpit there, and we'll come over here. So we'll just pick up speed because it is a large ship. So, last time you would have seen this thing, it would have just been uh, this stuff here backwards, and uh, no wireframing. So if you watch the other video before you're watching this one, basically you would have been getting like little just snippets of footage of seeing this. But um, basically I'll just start on the outside and I'll give you a rundown of everything. So this was the shape I was planning on going with. I just sort of started building and I used a bunch of hinges and I used a lot of different shapes and everything. And I really just sort of went wild and just sort of built with no inspiration, which in the future I decided it's been a bit of a downfall. I had so many plans and just overall, yeah, let's do this, that sounds cool. Let's build it like this, I'm sure that will work. No, it, it didn't work, just no. We, uh, we had a general idea for what we wanted things to look like at the back, so we had the engines and I ended up just building around the interior. Future reference, if you ever build a ship, probably better off building the exterior than filling the inside of it up next. Doing what I did, building interior and trying to make a shell that fits it, it's difficult and I'll sort of run you through everything. So you got the uh, cargo bay sort of rear docking port here so I actually like how this turned out. This is probably the one main part that I'm really happy with in this design and uh, cargo bay, I'm pretty sure I showed you this in the last video. Haven't done any extra work in it here yet unfortunately. Basically, cargo bay goes through this, what will be a door, into the main hangar bay. Now, the uh, main hangar bay, you've got a sort of squadron landing get landing area there, and then this will actually be closed up, and then it will be a big sort of opening hatch, which uh, more squadron ships can fly into and land. And you got multiple different landing spots for all these different fighter ships, which uh, we have built to some extent and uh, this is going to be a massive hangar bay door and I actually did have a different version of this world loaded up where I had the uh, Solosian destroyer ship in the middle here and it fit perfectly and I ended up building the entire exterior of this wire frame around the Solosian destroyer ship and I made sure everything worked and these were going to be big hatches that opened out at the bottom it looked really awesome having the ship in there and um Basically, uh, there was an issue with the world, so I had to reload and respawn everything back in, hence why everything's lined up nicely now, and basically, this is it. So, we'll come back up here. We've got the hangar bay there, and you got the engineering cargo bay hangar bay, and that would be the massive hangar bay, which is sort of shaped just like the Solosian Destroy ship. Then it was going to be the front of the ship just here, where these sort of single pylon things stick out. That was meant to be the front. But then after I got to that point and there was none of this stuff here, I um it looked too stubby for what it was. It needed to be longer, I decided. And that sort of started where it started getting bad. So I looked for help on the Discord page and didn't really go anywhere. Um, people said it was an interesting design, not really anything that I should probably be keeping and in theory they were correct. I mean I didn't see it at the time but I am seeing it now after I've worked on this a bit more. So the idea was that uh, for hangar bay entry you would have a big sort of weird opening and it would be armoured from the top and then you sort of have to come in from a lower angle and then flatten out and then you could come into the hangar bay here. Which is all good in theory. So I'll give you one last look at that and then we'll move on to design number two. Okay, design number two. So this 
uh, is basically that one there exactly, except I um, got some help from one of the moderators on Discord. I'm going to leave his name anonymous for now just because uh, I don't want to be giving his name out and all that just to draw any attention if he doesn't want it. Basically, uh, he decided to help out and I was really grateful for that. And I'm really loving the work that he did. So basically, he's added this fin here on the back of it anyway. And that sort of extends along the entire bottom. Now, I didn't actually have any panels in place, so I didn't know what the overall ship would look like once there was panel and decoration and all that. But basically, he was trying to give me an idea of that. And he's done a really good job and I really got some inspiration for that overall. Just uh, the whole thing extends forward like that and it's really cool and then he sort of designed what he called more or less a weapon sort of barrel of sorts and he also redesigned the front a little bit adding this part down here which ended up giving me the inspiration I needed to do what I will be doing in the future so um, he sort of just added some decoration gave me some inspiration and it really helped out in the long run but I'll basically just give you a look at that, just uh, let you see that, and the comparison between the two there, and the red really brings it out a little bit against the white, I don't know why, but it does. And then next is this, so this is what I literally just did before making any of these videos, I started filling in some of the panels, I wanted to see what it would look like if it was a closed ship, yes it's without decoration and work on the actual panels and all that yet, but basically this is what's gotten me to the point where I've decided I'd rather scrap the outer mesh that I've done now than continue work on it and end up somewhere which I'm probably going to be unhappy with. So this is basically just the uh, same version as uh, he who shall remain unnamed did the work on and then I added some panelling in and the panelling really sort of gave me a look at what it would look like if it was somewhat complete and I don't like it just frankly I don't like it so what this means is I'm probably going to be taking a little bit longer on making this ship before I show any more videos of this ship anyway and basically I'm going to be probably cutting off everything from the hangar bay just starting the wire mesh again except I might keep the back of the ship I'm pretty happy with the back of the ship I didn't do anything too stupid with it. I've got the uh, flat parts that go straight, sort of like a Star Destroyer, how it's got like the uh, perfectly straight part in the middle, and then it's got the uh, panels that sort of meet at an angle, which I'm okay with. It's this stuff all here, how I built the giant panels, and then I kept building down at this angle here, and the same with the bottom, I built up along there and then built up like that angle. It really just doesn't work, and I think in the long run, it needs to go. So, it's going to be a little while till I do another video, maybe another week at most, I'm hoping, until I've got something else to show for it. But basically, this is more or less an update video, just showing you what's happening and where things were going with the capital ship. So, I would love to hear all your suggestions, feedback, tips. I want to hear everything you've got to say. It would just be great, because I'm kind of looking for some more inspiration and just overall feedback on where things are going with this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little video with the uh, Vipers. Um, if you don't know anything about the interior of the ship that I've already done, I do recommend going back and looking at that video. It, uh, it certainly got some better viewing and ratings than other videos, and apparently some people really liked that engineering bay I did. So I'm pretty happy with that. But um, So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.